So here on our farm in northern Vermont, we are full on into maple sugaring season. Every year it's this annual ritual that as the winter winds down and the spring starts to pop up and everybody in this area goes sap crazy, all in the name of making that rich, buttery maple syrup that we all love and crave. Last year I made a cinder block evaporator that was awesome because it was really cheap and really effective. But it might not have been as efficient as possible. My buddy Alfred, you guys remember my buddy Alfred, right? He's like a wizard straight out of Ravenclaw. What he's done is he's built this awesome brick maple evaporator that has this incredibly high efficient design. As far as I'm concerned, it is the world's most efficient and effective maple evaporator. So in today's video, what I'm gonna do is show you guys this awesome maple syrup evaporator. I'm gonna take some wood, I'm gonna take some sap, and we're just gonna hang out and shoot the breeze and make some maple syrup. So Alfred's been in the middle of building a new uh, shack to contain his uh, evaporator. The old one fell apart just due to old age and weather. Before we can actually start boiling today, we're gonna actually have to put a tarp up to uh, keep everything nice and dry inside. for now yeah so this is the inside of my arch it is atypical most arches have a firebox down below and then th the back of the firebox there's a ramp you know the brick is sloped backwards this firebox is about 18 inches deep and it slopes forward um, not very far about six and a half inches maybe and then on top of that slope I have this manifold that I made out of uh, cast refractory concrete you know high temperature concrete basically the secondary combustion air gets drawn up through the bottom of this section right here so the pans sit on top here secondary combustion air gets you know brought in from the outside and then run forward underneath underneath these bricks right here, fed into this manifold. Which is why there's these holes for yep. heat circulation. The benefit of that is that it, it burns really, really cleanly. So I have a thermocouple, you know, high temperature uh, probe, temperature probe that I put about five feet up in that stack. And I tend to cruise around 1,450 degrees, give or take. Well, I, I cruise at 1450. I'll reload at about 12. It'll spike up to close to 1600, um, which is an extraordinarily high stack temp. You know, it averages about 13 and a half gallons per hour of uh, evaporation rate, um, which is pretty good. You know, it's a it's nat naturally aspirated rig. And the rule of thumb, you know, for a passive thing like this is, uh, with a flat pan is a gallon per hour per square foot. So I should be getting eight gallons per hour on this rig, but you know, I'm getting 13 and a half, which is it's 160%. And from the noble mission to get the 
paper are you there? Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You got a good and crumpled? A little bit more for you. Why? Because uh, we want it super crumpled. The uh, fat's gonna boil into maple syrup somehow. I don't know how. Okay. And, uh, so, we now we've got a draft going, just closing that door should really pull the pull the air through it and make it a more turbulent fire. And uh, yeah, I mean you can really you can really hear the difference. Flash they Yeah, as soon as you open it it actually kills it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One of the coolest parts about maple syrup season is just how everybody kind of comes together to like experience the boil. It's a good time to just hang out and shoot the breeze. What you doing, Amos? I'm chopping down a tree. Why are you chopping down the tree? Because I need to chop down as many trees as I can to make a cow pasture. You're making a cow pasture? Yeah. Do you have any cows yet? No. When do you plan to get your cows? I don't know. Hopefully this summer. I may get the cow from the Kempton. Ah. The upper reservoir, that piggyback, piggyback uh, free warmer, you know, just it's about eight gallons, but you know, that's, that's warming up. Uh, so I'll keep the, the sap in there and just just barely trickle it into the big pan, you know, by controlling that that valve. But um, so if I keep this thing full, the sap's warming up a bit. You know, it's funny, as I sat down to edit this video, I feel like the world started in one place. And as I finished editing the video, it ended up in an entirely different spot. And the whole world feels like it's been turned upside down on its head right now. And... Get the frick out of here, man. <laughs> and, and I feel like, you know, there's just a lot going on and a lot of scary things. And even something as traditional as uh, making maple syrup here in Vermont has gotten flipped on its head. Where, you know, on a day like this, I should be over at Alfred's house boiling sap but because of all the things going on in the world right now I've actually made the decision to uh, just hunker down here at the farm you know right now I'm able to actually work from home for my day job lucky but Allison has actually been uh, assigned to a COVID-19 clinic and so that's where she's working full-time right now and so because of her exposure and because of my exposure to her I feel like it's actually really good not to mingle with Alfred and his kids and everybody else just because I don't want to run the risk of getting people sick you know, it was only like a week ago that I was hanging out with all my friends and my father, who's almost 70, was there with us. We were just all hanging out, having a good time. Nobody was thinking about social distancing or anything crazy like that. And we were just enjoying the good communal spirits of making maple syrup. But now the world has definitely changed and it's starting to feel like a scarier place. But for me, I'm thankful that we still have our health We've got this beautiful farm, we've got a good community, and I think we're gonna power through this one. This isn't exactly the ending to the video that I had planned, but I felt like things have changed so much and there's so much going on in the world right now that it was just worth letting you guys know what's going on here. I hope you guys all stay safe and stay healthy. And uh, yeah, if you can, on a nice day, maybe just by yourself, go out there and boil some maple syrup. This season won't be here long.